He couldn't talk. Um, he lost all his motor skills, and it took four months to get a diagnosis. He was always joyful, even yeah. through his sickness. He yeah. always was happy and smiling. Paulo and Oscar Abalahin of Port Orchard lost their son Jackson to a progressive neurological disorder stemming from the measles when he was just eight years old. More than a decade later, through their nonprofit Jackson's Cure, they have raised awareness about the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine. They say the virus spread to Jackson as a baby before he was even old enough to get the shot. We want to make sure that they're aware and make an informed decision. Talk to their pediatrician. Um, on, you know, the importance of it. The highly contagious virus is back in the spotlight as the CDC is reporting 113 total cases in the U.S. so far this year, nearly double last year's total. As many as nine of those cases came from Washington state. And the thinking here is that uh, a lot of doses of measles vaccine were missed or delayed during the pandemic. And now this is the consequence of that. What do you want families to know about this and how they can protect their loved ones? Getting the vaccination. Dr. Danielle Zare with Seattle Children's Hospital says many cases of the airborne virus are also connected to international travel. Symptoms range from cough, eye redness, fever, runny nose, and a rash for a few days to brain damage or death in rare circumstances. Up to nine out of 10 people who are exposed to measles and, and who are non-immune will acquire measles. The Abalahans say they'll continue working to fundraise for measles research to find a cure. We still want to keep the, his legacy going. Jackie Kent, Como News.